Our scripture verse will be out of Luke 2, uh, verses 8 through 20. And there were shepherds living out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. We have uh, great joy and anticipation and excitement. Uh, and so many years ago, Hannah, uh, your great-great-grandmother sent us a Christmas ornament. And it was a little tuner that you hung on the Christmas tree. And when your dad was probably nine or ten years old, we started this. And at the time, we didn't realize it was going to be a tradition. But um, we hung it on the tree, and they had to find it. And they had to both start at the same time, so it was a game. And as you know, it's something that you still look forward to as you come over to find the ornament on the Christmas tree. For sure. From the time I was old enough to reach the Christmas tree, I remember this tradition every year, as soon as we got to grandma's house and as soon as everybody was there, the contest began. So surprisingly, these little things are pretty hard to find among the greenery of a Christmas tree. And they were real Christmas trees too, so you had to be a little careful when you were reaching in there trying to find it. But it blends right in with those stems. So the competition was real, the excitement was real. Um, and we had to seek really hard to find this thing. But when you did find it, you got the victory of blowing your victory horn. Super exciting. So as if you know my family, you know that competition runs in our veins. So it was always a very intense experience, but one of my fondest memories on Christmas day. Yes, and, and it was like uh, all the excitement of all of you and, and again, Nobody started ahead of anybody else. So that was one of the rules. You had to wait until everybody was there, and then you all had the chance to go in and look. And you're right, the Christmas trees were real trees, so they could be a little prickly, and the it was shiny, and it would blend in, and you would have little sparkling little lights, but it was excitement. But this excitement does not compare to the excitement of finding Jesus in your heart. So our our joy and sharing and our wish for you is that you have and that you find the joy of Jesus this Christmas. And just like when you're searching in the Christmas tree, it can be a little prickly and a little hard to find things sometimes. Sometimes it's not that easy to find the kingdom of heaven, but we need not lose heart because God has promised if we seek, we will find him. So we want to encourage you to seek Jesus just as the shepherds sought Jesus and with greater passion than the Robinson family <laughs> sought for the whistle because you will find him. You will find him. May you have a Merry Christmas.